everyone when it comes to movies everyone has a very different perspective and opinion of them i am one of those people that enjoy movies animation or live action and i'm here to talk about my most favorite movies of all so get out your popcorn and your glasses here we dive into it in fifth place we have rush hour when i was younger i didn't think much of rush hour but until three years later when my dad showed me, I was completely bursting out with laughter at by the time it ended. Who would have thought pairing up a Chinese officer with an American officer was a brilliant idea? And who would have thought Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker would be the main role? Jackie plays Detective Lee, who is a serious but firm and innocent detective who always is determined to get the job done and look out for others. While Chris Tucker plays the the annoying but hilariously ambitious Detective Carter from the LAPD. Together they side their differences to f accomplish missions that are being jeopardized by Chinese gangsters and and landlords. While the jokes can be disturbing, Chris Tucker's foul language and Jackie Chan's acrobatic movements are what make the movie stand out. I was so in love with this hilarious buddy cop comedy film that I danced to Chris Tucker's movement of Michael Jackson and I even memorized the whole lines. Coming up in fourth place is the Super Mario Bros. movie. After the brave but kind Mario loses his timid brother Luigi, who is now in the territory of the King of the Koopas, the dastardly and dangerous Bowser, who plans to marry the brave and loyal Princess Peach, the ruler of the Toads. Together, Mario and Princess Peach team up to stop Bowser and save Luigi. When I saw this movie in theaters, I was taken aback by how wonderful the animation looked, the voices, especially Chris Pratt as Mario, and especially the character interactions. Not to mention, Luigi and Mario give great character development. Mario overcomes his dislike of mushrooms, and Luigi overcomes his fear of being scared by everything to saving Mario from Bowser. And I especially love Bowser's song, Peaches, voiced by the late Jack Black. I could eat... <laughs> I even tried to perform that in theaters. All in all, this is the greatest video game movie ever, and is somewhat is somewhat better than what its predecessor from 1993 was. Woohoo! This here in third place, drum roll please. Jaws. When I was 10 years old, I was really scared of Jaws. And I actually threw a DVD away from my cousins. When I was 13, I got to see a TV version of Jaws. And I loved it. I loved how it represented sharks in a different way. The shark is indestructible, power hungry, and really bloodthirsty in this movie. I especially love how strong it is when pulling the boat apart and the dock away from shore. Not to mention the characters are very likable too, especially Chief Brody. Whoever made this movie, I really want to chomp my Jaws onto it. Oh wait, that's right. Jaws already did with Steven Spielberg. Prepare to have your hearts warm. When you see in second place, we have... Seriously, who cannot love this beautiful movie? with so many interesting characters and a whole reason to worry about the future to take care of Earth. I love everything about this Pixar. I love everything about this history. I love everything about this robotic masterpiece of Pixar. It had a reason to showing us why technology can be, be dangerous if we're not taking care or not looking out for the environment. That's a great moral lesson. 
The sound effects were amazing and accurate as possible. And the music is wonderful, especially the part where Wally and Eve dance in space. But what I really like about this movie is Wally himself. He teaches us how to be independent and more human with his personality and shows us that he can be tough. But he especially is very cute when he tries to connect with Eve. Oh no, this is Pixar's best movie ever. And I highly recommend anyone who's a fan of Pixar go watch that immediately. Before we get to number one, here are some honorable mentions that I really regret or I really wanted to put them on. The Polar Express. This is a wonderful message of how to believe in Santa Claus. And it teaches us that trains can be very magical, especially around the winter. Speed. I was so close to ranking this in top five, but it got beaten out by Unstoppable. But I really love Keanu Reeves' performance in this and the bus's action scenes. And I really love they gave the villain a desire of why to torture and keep people hostage. Toy Story. Seriously, this movie takes you to infinity and beyond. I love Woody and Buzz's friendship. The animation looks great back then. And the music took your breath away. Plus, I really love the catchphrases of Buzz, Jesse, and Woody themselves. This is the first movie of Pixar that took us into a different mind perspective. And it's the moment we've all been waiting for. In first place is... Unstoppable. T Tony Scott's final film before his death. This film is all about a runaway train loaded with dangerous cargo that sets off on its own, heading towards a depopulated town in threat of, of causing a catastrophe there. Meanwhile, an engineer who's in retirement and a rookie conductor on board another train team up to try and slow it down before disaster strikes. This film is widely considered by most film critics and rail fans the most incredible film about railroads and trains. The characters were well likable and captured the audience's heart when talking about their backstories. The action was intense as ever and the sound effects were pretty incredible, even the music. But what I really like about this movie is that it was based on a true story that happened nine years before it was made, the Crazy Eights incident. And I'm, I think it's fair to say that this is the most realistic train movie of all time. That's why I consider this movie to be one of my favorites ever.